also lots of twisting. It's going to continue tonight. Yeah, I'd be like an elephant on roller skates playing <laughs> Twister, but I can deal with the music part of it. A lot of fun, a lot of food down at Yatevin's Cove for the Bunbury Music Festival. Jackie Conjato, live right now in the middle of the music. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Mike, terrible assignment out of here today, right? I mean, enjoying this beautiful weather. Lots of people already out here today, just hours after the gates opened. Excited to enjoy some great music throughout the weekend. Organizers telling me ticket sales are already ahead of last year, and Bunbury 2014 is off to a running start. The sun is shining, the beer is flowing, the music is blaring, and the people are arriving in droves. This is the first year uh, when I rolled up to the gates about 15 minutes prior that we had people, you know, lined up and around a sidewalk, and that was really exciting to see, to see, you know, this many people come out this soon. And uh, I think they're getting into that whole festival experience. This is the Riverfront Festival's third year, and it's on pace to be the biggest yet. Organizers think they'll hit the 60,000 mark. Uh, all signs lead to a, to a really good weekend. Concert goers agree. It's awesome. We didn't think it would be as big as it was. This is the first time we've been here, um, so it's, it's pretty awesome. 80 bands on six stages for three days. But what's really on display this weekend is the Queen City in all its craft beer brewing, food truck loving, riverfront gazing glory. I've been a, a Reds fan since I was five, so I've been coming down here for a long, long time. And from then until now, it's a dramatic change. It's night and day difference. One warning this afternoon, organizers tell me if there's a specific act you want to see, they say get here early. There's going to be a lot of people, of course. They say parking is available all the way down Eggleston to the casino. They said there's plenty of it available. It's a little bit of a walk to get here, but they say it's mostly in the shade. So there's that. Reporting live tonight, Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5.